Morning, heroes. So, today is day three. And that means we're going to go zip lining first, then a whole host of other stuff. Like getting the boat across the fer to the ferry little bit that you saw at the beginning of the video. And this is where we stayed last night. Beautiful views. We've ordered brekkie. Brekkie's only cost us around about six pounds for everything. Morning. Look at this. 9,000, 25,000, 10,000. Sorry, everything is five pounds. Six or seven dollars. Happy. I've got, I've got to buy some shoes because they won't let flip flops. So, I'm trying to get the cheapest ones. <laughs> How cheap? These are the cheapest. These will do for the zip lining. Woo! Uh, put them on. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow slip these tiny little shoes on. <laughs> 120,000. Best pair of shoes are paid for five pounds. They'll do. Gosh, they're tight. But I'm ready now. Here we go. <laughs> Well, um, a half, a half day. Ha day. <laughs> it's just this. We're all on a budget, so two hours sounds good. <laughs> this is the route. This little, little route right here. Two hours, happy days, $30. These tiny shoes on. Can already feel the blood flow <laughs> disappearing. You might recognize this from yesterday. This is the same place that we were yesterday having our food called the Rock. Viewpoint. Just gonna get strapped up. Good thing is you can pay by card. Now we are right here doing our loop still as we go. So you can see we're up near the north now from where we started, which was down here. So that's where we are. And then we're gonna be going down this route, going back on ourselves to go down to the ferry point. So we're not actually doing the whole loop because this main road here is apparently quite dangerous. So we're up here at the moment. And we still got two days to make ourselves make our way back. Getting set up now. He's setting me up. Oh, what's this? There it is. Ready to go. Hopefully we'll see this little guy. Named Keith, apparently. The views are gonna be amazing. He even gave us gloves. Free gloves. Yeah. One thing though, recommend you bring some water. Because when we're out there, there's no water. Let's do this. First zip line. Wow, that's a long one. It goes really far. Zip line. Zip line. Five zip lines to do. First one's gone. Is, that, is, is he that, supposed to be with us wow, or? <laughs> wow, that is fast. Oh, God, Jerry! It's not Jerry. Never seen him so scared in his life. <laughs> Second one's off. Whoa! All right, on to the next one. This is the second one. Definitely looks like the highest. Looks a bit scared. These shoes are killing. You got it. <laughs> Woo! We're having a good time. <laughs> hey! <laughs> looks quite high, this one. Marmalade! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> the name of this video is going to be Marmalade! <laughs> the only loud word we know. Marmalade, yeah? Marmalade! Marmalade! <laughs> Bit more rock climbing. <laughs> Spider Man! Spider Man does whatever a spider pig does. <laughs> Just waiting for one more marmalade. Marmalade! Bridge is a bit wobbly, I'll be honest. And these shoes! Oh! Can't feel my feet anymore. I can't feel them. Oh! Oh! What a view. Wow. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh. This looks like the next one. Guys. Wow. This is a high one. You look a bit scared. Oh, is it moving? Is it moving? Whew. All right, I think you should run it. Let's have a race. Yeah. Get set. Go. Look at it. What a place. So cool. 
It appears to be getting higher and higher. I actually thought the first one was gonna be the best one, that's what I was told. There's quite a bit of uh, climbing in between though, but it's an amazing experience. I can see why they said bring water. All the equipment's included, like gloves, harnesses, of course, and a safety brake. If you've got this far, please like this video. It's not easy carrying your phone and doing this at the same time. Here we go. There appears to be a bit of an obstacle at the end. I gotta get around. Whoa. Another bridge. You know, if we did half a day of this, I think we'd be exhausted. Made it to the top, guys. Look at that view. Wow. Wow. Darning. If you was to describe this view in one word, what would it be? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> what would this view be in one word if you described it? Stunning? <laughs> Here we go. The next one. <sighs> you ready? <laughs> Marble! <laughs> Woo! That was one of my favorites. This must be the last one. It looks huge. And he's gone just like that. Another one's gone. Whoa! You ready for this one? You excited? Woo! <laughs> This looks like a fun one. Mm. It's definitely the last one. <laughs> yes. Bobby Lee! Thank you. Finish! Finish! Finish. That one was awesome. Really good. Bobby Lee! And for 26 pounds or 30 dollars, so worth it. Actually, I think two hours is more than enough. Half day option, I think you'd be dying of uh, heat, heat, uh, heat burn and everything, sunburn. <laughs> heat stroke, that's what I'm trying to say. Be a bit too much, so two hours is perfect. Because we are so hungry and we're so tired already, so. And we've still got a long way to go. Hey. Off by saying, Mommy! Subscribe! <laughs> We were just over there. That was the the viewpoint that we were on, and the bri and the bridge we went past. That was so worth the money. I mean, for value for money's wise, that was really really good. I recommend it. We're on day three right now, and that means that we've got a day and a half left of the Thahek Loop. Probably saying it wrong. We don't even know where we're staying tonight. What we do know is we're really hungry. And this loop itself so far, the roads are just so beautiful. They really, 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 really are. Like, wow. Wow. Subscribe. I actually never heard about this loop until my friend told me about it. And here is the best part about the whole thing so far. Including today, the $30 that we just spent. We've only spent, you ready? Under a hundred pounds for everything so far. Under a hundred pounds. That is crazy. That's 120, that's 120 dollars. Three days of riding and everything. So should you do it? It's a simple question, simple answer. Yes, so worth it. We still have a day and we've seen so many amazing views. It's really, really hard to always film it. There's so much going on, so many amazing views, but for the price, under 100 pounds, I can't get over that. That's all I've spent so far. And I've done so much stuff in Laos. Some people do this trip for like five to six days. There's quite a lot to do along the way. And you make a lot of friends as well because everyone seems to go to the same places. And we ate here before, so food's only gonna be five to six pounds again. Hello. Look at these cookies. Yes. Is that a beer already? Yeah, it's almost five o'clock. You are so Australian. <laughs> <laughs> so 500, a uh, thousand kip is five pounds. So you can see most of these things are about three pounds. Barbecue steak, that's uh, about almost six pounds. Ah, uh, five pound 20. Could I get the chicken rice soup, please? Thank you. And a uh, small bottle of water, please. Yeah. Woo! These early beers, boys. Woo! So 
So we just pulled over the side of the road. Cause it looks like something's going on. It's a huge temple here. Barry, this t-shirt is five pounds. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. We don't know where we are, but there's a big rock over there that looks like something naughty. Here we go. Oh, we want money. The backup's arrived. You thought it was free. <laughs> So we think they're raising money for the temple or something because everyone's getting a pin on their shoulder and they're giving money. She's so happy. This really, really reminds me of when I went to a wedding on a, with an indigenous tribe in the Philippines. Tag Banwa. If you haven't seen that video, check it out on my channel. It's really cool. I 24 hours with a, with a tribe. It didn't even have power, internet, or any service. It's a really cool video. I believe we'll be coming up to the ferry soon, but I'm sure we'll stop off at something along the way. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> hey guys. That was a close one. <laughs> Look at those mountains. I think it's going to rain soon. This is tough. Woo! We made it! Hey. Let's put my phone down for a second then because I thought I was going to hit one of them. The roads are getting worse and worse as we get closer and closer to Death Road. Death Road's on the other side of the ferry. We're going to put our bikes on a ferry and cross a river. And there's also a cave there we can swim through, hopefully. If you got this far, please subscribe. Love you. So there's, uh, we met a guy earlier and he said that there's a cave that not many people know about that's only been explored 50 kilometers so far. We need torches apparently, there's snakes as well. So we've got to be kind of careful, but we're just trying to find it and we believe it's down this road down here. Should be exciting. Look how high they go. And there it is. Look at the size of that thing. We literally opened someone's gate just to climb to get through here. So we weren't even sure if we were going the right way. Hey, come on. Oh my god, I can feel the cold coming out from here. It's like water runs in or out of it. Can you hear that? There's like someone in there. Yeah, there's people in there. Wow, it's so cold. Woo! It echoes from here. It's crazy. That must be huge. We're inside right now. It's huge. Really, really big. Huge. Reminds me of something. <laughs> that looks like a snake. A face there. Oh, it looks like a monkey. It actually looks like a monkey. There's the mouth, the eyes and the nose. Echoes. Woo! That's sick. That is cool. That shows how big this cave is. What's cooler is most people don't even know about this cave. It's only the, really the locals. They already know there's 50 kilometers of this cave, but no one's gone any further because it just gets so dark and dangerous. You can hear the bats. Billy's gone in on his own, so hopefully he comes out. We were told, funny story, that sometimes the locals here, they remove the spark plug out your bike so that your bike doesn't work, and then you have to pay them to fix it. Geniuses. <laughs> Listen to that quiet. That was truly amazing, but we need to get on the road. Look, he's made it back. Massive pain. Did you find anything? No. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> All right, let's see if the bike stop. <laughs> yeah, <true. laughs> this is not easy. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Hey. <laughs> he went over it. Hey, fine, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go. Good. 
So we just got our ticket. It costs 18 pounds, 315, 350, thousand kip and that's our ferry ticket across through sorry a cave which will take us to the other side this cave is going to be just as big as the last cave it's so big that the locals didn't know that there was any other villages on the other side or that you could go through it the way that they worked it out was by they saw ducks that were sort of domesticated that came through from the other side they also saw other things from other villages that came through from the liquid from the uh, flow of the water sorry and that's how they worked out it was safe enough to go through now they've got a boat system there where you can actually put your bike on it and we can use it to go through to the other side to death road we luckily just got the last ferry four o'clock it's called the Conglor cave disembarkment point thank you for yeah, the light oh wow oh my god <laughs> Wow, that looks like the cave. I think we just got mugged. So we're not sure what's going on. We think they've actually just taken our bike and gone. We haven't seen them for five minutes. Look at the size of those fish. That's why we need the head torch. We got the bikes on. Wow. Oh my God. Which way? Let's go. Such a little bike as well. Little boat, I meant. Oh, we're walking through water to get here. Woohoo! There we go. That's one. That's two. Which way? This way? Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Thank you, thank you. And we're off. Here we go. Got a head torch on. We're going. Put the bike on the back. And it is so dark. All you can see is the head torches. Woohoo! Echoes. This other cave that we went to must be just as big as this. Wow, just like that. It wasn't even five minutes and we're here already. Whoa. How are they gonna get the bike off? I don't know. He's just said go up. <laughs> here comes him and his bike. <laughs> here comes the next one. And when they say that they've recently discovered a huge cave system bigger than, big enough to put the Eiffel State system in it between Vietnam and Laos, now you know why. See these caves? They are incredibly high. All the way through, it didn't get any lower, it just stayed the same height. There's another bike. Probably turn this torch off now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Still no signs of them getting the bikes off the boat yet. Might be the last time we see them. Crazy, because this is like a ferry ride plus a trip, a tour. Almost looks holy. They've been carved. Phenomenal. That one looks like a face with poopies. Ah, so this is a dead end. This is part of a tour. Forgive me for not knowing what's going on all the time. All of it's spontaneous and we make it as we go. Now I see why. I wonder what made this. It must have been water over the years. I think we've worked out the whole team's a bit confused on what's going on. <laughs> There's more to the story. <laughs> That's how big this place is. It has to be better than the last cave that I thought was my favourite. The dragon cave. This is way better. The plot thickens. I'm for £18. This is so worth it. And here we are coming back. <laughs> See where he takes us next. Marmalade! <laughs> this is so funny out. It's just perched on the boat. Mar Uh, so he said, we're going to walk up here and they're going to drive the boats around and mess at the other end. So ah, okay. Trek. Cool. Little trek through the cave. Can't see anything. So glad they gave us these torches. Woo! Woo! Oh, the lights have come on. Was there a grasshopper? Is it me or that looks a bit like a sitting down monkey monk, monk monkey maybe? Ooh, he looks like an evil villain. Ooh, like an A. Bully for money, you just can't complain. Chaos is so cheap. Never expected this either. This is my new favorite cave. Other than my ex-girlfriend's cave. This looks good. Fine. <laughs> yeah, I would. There they are. So it's been about uh, 10 minutes and we're still going through this cave. I'm not sure if there's more to see, but it's definitely an impressive cave and it is incredibly big. A few rocks as we go past that you keep seeing. And it's not getting any shorter in here, it's very high. It's really good that you can take your bike on it though, that is fantastic, so that you can carry on doing your trip. Seems to be a lot of traffic going through here too. 
but we're riding upstream hence the whole they used to see the ducks used to come through and other uh, items from other villages that's how they worked out you could go through this this cave but without a torch it's a long walk swim it looks like we've just hit the next place oh, oh. we're going upstream so it's quite shallow But we're still going, 20 minutes in. I'm really interested how he's gonna get that bike off. Maybe this isn't the end, I don't know. We did it! <laughs> yeah! Woo! I think there's another boat coming to collect us from here, because that doesn't look safe. Way they're pulling it up the rapids! <laughs> they're pulling it up the rapids! Go on boys! <laughs> wow! What a hero. <laughs> <laughs> so are you guys, so like and subscribe. Here we have Jeff, Steve and Gary trying to get his motorbike up the hill. Been summoned in. Didn't take your bag. Come on mate, pull it good. Amelie! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Heave! Heave! <laughs> Poor loser. Oh no, we have to get in the water now and get back on our boat. A bit cold. Oh, he's just getting the water out of his boat. <laughs> there she is. My beautiful baby. Don't cheat on me, would you? Another man. Hey, mate. Towards the light. Precious. Well, that answers that question. That was really fun, though. was the cave. He looks tired. We're all tired. It's been for a massive mountain. Oh, oh. And that means we're on the other side towards Death Road. If it's even called that, I don't know. But what I do know is it's very dangerous. Someone died there last week. Oh my God, there's cows. <laughs> It might be buffalo, I think. Coming in for a crash landing. Oh, oh. Well done, mate. He deserves a like. He's still got his torch on. <laughs> Here's the moment of truth. Oh, is it still working? <laughs> oh, he's gone again. He's stealing my bike. <laughs> I was really impressed. So it's been a wonderful day. We're through the cave. On the other side, there isn't much. It's just a village, but we found a place to stay. It looks quite new. And we worked out if we get a room, a luxury room that can sleep three people, it's only 2,500. That's about 12 pounds 50 for the three of us. So again, it's actually cheaper than where we stayed last time. So I'll show you the place where we're sleeping. And yes, after such an amazing day, it's time for a drink. Sorry to so the cave is literally just over there, the exit, where we just come out. If you go past here, it's literally just villages. Very, very similar to some of the villages in Koron in the Philippines. So we're all sharing a room, saving money, and just gonna order some food. Hopefully we'll get that bonfire going as well. There's the girls, woo! <whistles> Hi, somebody. Pizza for only two pounds fifty. Three, four dollars. Quite a selection. That one. One, thank you. Isn't this romantic, boys? <laughs> so tired. Wow, isn't this fancy? We've got a fire going. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Or, or hindsight, I 